today we are talking to Dead Lee. He is a hip hop artist, and the subject today is homophobia within the hip hop community and within hip hop music. It is pervasive if you really look at it from one point of view, and that is if you're actually looking for it. I was listening to artists like Eminem, who I, who I, you know, I, I, I dug his music, listened to 50 Cent, but they were saying things about my sexuality. You know, I'd be listening to Eminem, he had a song called Criminal, where he says, uh, I hate fags, the answer is yes. And I'm tripping out because, you know, I'm feeling the guy's beats, his flows, and I work with uh, gay youth and they're always listening to his music and, and it just bothered me like these kids are over here supporting buying his stuff but he's talking crap about us so I said you know what I'm gonna be out with my music and give an alternative to these young gay kids or anyone who has an open mind and you know let them decide and you know there'll be open gay artists out there that have their own story to tell Hey, we should point out, obviously, you are uh, out and, and you are openly gay. Were you out when you began your hip-hop career, or is that something that you decided to direct your attention with and bring out as, as a part of uh, as the part of your development in your career? The whole basis, I think, of hip-hop from the get-go was all about your struggle, about being real on you know, whoever you were. You know, early artists, it was the, the black struggle, about being poor. And, and today I think, you know, gay people are the, the ones really struggling and they have a reason. We have a lot of stories to tell. So, yeah, I just decided to, you know, tell my story. You say hip hop and, and other music actually is the same thing. It's about honesty and the artist's interpretation of honesty. Well, if one artist is honestly homophobic, is it just that person's opinion and, and, and shouldn't that person also be honest? You know, I think an artist has, actually has a responsibility too. I mean, there's a deal, like I said, that whole song with Eminem, do I hate fags, the answer is yes. If he would have said the same thing, like do I hate blacks, the answer is yes. Do I hate Hispanics, the answer is yes. I think Eminem would be dead today. I think he's trying to pick on the people who he thinks are weak and can't defend themselves. And I'm kind of stepping up to the game and all kinds of homo rappers saying, we're not weak, we, we can go head to head with you in the rap game and even in a political stance and say, you know, we're here and you can't be picking on us. It's so easy for people to say, I hate gays. It's like it's the one, one group of people that it's still okay to hate on. Within a song, they're calling each other the F word. Uh, what's your take on that? Where's it coming from and why is it wrong? They don't know the power in the word. I mean, that word is thrown around. So on the playgrounds, you know, little kids are being called, a, called faggot. They're getting beat up because they might be, a, you know, think they're a little sissy, whatever. And I don't think they really understand the power in those words. The F word uh, should be on par with the N word. Is that accurate? And do you think it's a long way to go before you get there? I've been using the F word in my stuff. And the, and the, and the reason why I'm doing it is I'm trying to take the power away, just like I think uh, early black rappers use the N word in their music. And it's kind of taking the power of that word. And so I know a lot of gay rap artists will use that word, but I think we can do it because we're gay and I think that's our right. We can use that word. Just as the blacks can use the N-word, I think we, we can do, do it. 